Okay guys, we're going to start on the rear brake now. So we've just repositioned the bike, we've got the front wheel clamp there, we've got the uh, rear wheel uh, raised off so you know, it moves freely. And um, so we're just going to attack, attack the rear brake. Now Hal, Hal was saying, or you, you, you tell us, you know, the, the two trains of thought here, what you can do. Yeah, well um, there's two ways of uh, replacing the rear uh, brake pads. Uh, there is one which is a little bit more curlier to yep. do, where you remove these two retaining pins which go through the, uh, the disc pads, yep. and then the disc pad will drop out on either side. Yes. Then you've got to make sure the pistons are gone back in, so you can put the thicker new disc pads in. Yep. Then you have to make sure everything lines up, and you're doing it blindly, to a yep. certain extent. Yes. And that can be done. And in a workshop environment, yeah, you, they yep. tend to do it that way. Yeah. It's a time motion. Now, we're a little bit different here. We've got the time yep. um, to put a little bit more TLC on doing the job. Yep. Also, so, the caliper has got a pivot so the caliper can move off and on the, the rotor. Yeah. And I prefer, uh, after you know, Boris has done 15,000 Ks, is just lube and check that uh, pivot and make sure that the caliper is free to move in and out. Yeah. So to do that and do it properly, we remove the wheel. So yeah. we're going to remove the wheel. Yep. Alrighty, okay. so we'll go ahead and um, do that. We'll pull the uh, wheel out and then you yeah, get into it. Yep. Okay, so we've just got a 24 millimeter socket on there. <laughs> <laughs> the Persuader. Yes. That's what we've got, the Persuader. There we go. The axles come out. Hang on, I'll just come around this side. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, hang on, yep. So we just pulled the, the chain off. I've already removed the chain guard there. Not that you probably need to do that, but it makes the job a little bit easier. Yep, there's a space. You may want to drop out, take out. Yep. Oh. There's those little rubbers. They're yep. doing well, they're holding up well. Yep, there's the push rubbers. Those are the ones I always put in back to front. Yep, they can really only go one way. Yep. Okay. Just Let's put that on the rubber so you can see how this pivots. Yep. Oh, yeah, hang on. Yep, so, yep. So make sure that slides. Yep. So we just want to get, just want to make sure that that's greased and, and moves freely. Yep. So it yeah, freely moves, you know. Exactly. Left and right. Now the caliper is in a locator on the swing arm. Yeah. Okay. The slide yeah. swing arm. Yeah. Actually, just pull it out and just show them that. Yep. So we want to make sure that this is clean and also a bit of lube. You can see where it's got a wear mark in it. Oh, yep. Yep. And that just, so there's a lug welded on the side of the swing arm there that it's, it slides into. Yep. So I'm going to put that back in because to loosen the... Um, the bolts we want it to be a little bit firm. Yeah, that's sliding. Yeah. All right, so we'll just put that in there for now. And I'll just show you, I'll just zoom in on the brake pads. I've got to focus, so it's a little focus. You can see the little wear indicators on the side of the pads there, so there's still a, a, a bit of meat on these rear pads. So they're not too bad, but we're going to replace them anyway. Okay, so first up, what are we doing now, Hal? Uh, we're going to uh, open up the master cylinder because we're going to uh, spread the rear pistons on yep. the caliper. So we need to uh, make just, sure. Yep, yeah, we just put a rag in there just yep. in case of any spillages. spillages. Yep, but this, again, sorry. With a 10 mil. Yep. Remove that little safety clip so that the lid to the master cylinder won't spin around. Oh, uh, yep. And there you are. And here's the clip. Oh, yep. Alright, we can put that back on there in the interim. And we'll just open that up. So we did top this up about six months ago, didn't we? The rear, yeah. rear brake. 
Yep. But now we get, we're about to change the fluid as well. Yep. It's cool. Alright, now we're going to go back to the black caliper. Yep. And you see the fluid, and I'm going to spread it in the... Um, yeah, you'll see that fluid go Okay, up. so yeah, just, 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 just position the, the app, so hang on. So, hang on, before you split it, so yeah, Hal's just putting a screwdriver in there and he's about to open up the piston, but I'll just go back over here and we'll just, where is it, where's the fluid, yep. So, go for it, Hal. It's yep. raising? Yep, that's coming up. Is it close to the top? There, nah, it's a fair bit to go, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Well, that's it, the limit here. Yep, nah, there's a fair bit of... That's good. Bit of room to play with there. Yeah, well, just it off a lot easier. Okay, so hang on. We'll just so you can see yeah, how's opened that up now. Well, yeah, I'll put my finger in there. Cool. So well, we got to there. Have a look at the chain. So I don't lube that at all. Just usually just wipe it with a rag after I've washed it or gone for a ride. And that chain is looking real good. We're going to remove the two um, center pins. Yep. Was it about a five mil? Yep, five mil. Yep. Just get it to there. Then the next one, which is just behind the red nipple. Put your hand under the. So what's your hand doing? Just holding the. the oh, the, um, the pads. The pads, yep. the pads there. There again, they've got a little clip, spring-loaded clip. So they're pretty dry, those. Yeah, 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 they could do with a little bit of yeah. nether seas. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm pushing up on the pads as we... Oh, yeah. Yeah, just to take the load off the pin so they come oh, out. Oh, yeah, because this is spring spring load. Right. Yep. In theory... Hang on. Oh, yep, so go. These have been released. Yep. And they will just drop out. Like so. Right, okay. Okay. Yep. So we've got that one and that one. We've got backing plates yeah. on these. Okay. They're the shims, what they call the shims. Yep. And we'll put them back on. But what we want to do is we want to clean, clean up, up this uh, caliper a little. Yep. And also we want to check the pivot. So we're going to take this caliper off. Oh yep. Yeah. That's a little bit dry. I have seen these rusted and seized yep. on. <clears throat> yeah, it's good. I'm glad we're doing this. So what we're going to do is do a bit of a clean up. Brake cleaner. Brake cleaning fluid, yeah. You can buy it in the can if you want, can't you? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep. And just have a good visual inspection for odd wear marks. There's one of those little clips. Just show us that clip. Yeah, that clip. That, yeah, you keep it the oh. pad runs on the back of that clip, so they're virtually like that. Oh yeah. Well the other way around actually, but yeah. That's that one. And that's that one. Just you hold that. So you can see that where like yep. that. Okay. And they you know like they can cause squeaky brakes or binding brakes. Yep. You can take these clips off, but there's no need to if you don't need to. Um, I wouldn't really worry about it. Yep. Look in pretty good condition. Just making sure that, that pivot. It's good. Get a little, little bit of this nether seas. You don't need much at all. Don't use. Don't go crazy. Just something more. We'll oh, yeah, just gonna a little bit in there. Yep, yeah, just a little yep. bit in there. 
Yep. And just work it, pre-test it. Yep. 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 That's fine. Caliper. Inside the caliper, when I was pushing the uh, uh, disc pads up to get the pins out, yep. this is what they were pushing on. There's a little W uh, stainless steel uh, sort of retaining washer. It's a spring washer, like a sp oh, spring. Yeah. So that pushes. Yeah. In yep. So it keeps the tension on it. On the tension. Yep. Yep. You're always looking for the leaks and things like that, but you know Boris is. Still a mongrel pup, and um, yeah, yeah, there's going to be no leaks from uh, around there. That's so you never go in and you lose them. So that's a, an inspection rubber, you said. Inspection yep. rubber for to see your um, uh, if your disc pads need to be replaced, the oh. uh, thickness. Oh, okay, yep. Yeah, but you're yeah. saying if you take that out, usually they don't go back in, and <laughs> uh, next time you come back from a ride, it's missing. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I just leave it in there. Also, the, yeah, that's uh, another thing to push yeah. the pads down. But yeah. ah, okay. Yeah, so we're going to clean the inside of that with some brake. Yeah, cleaner. we'll put some brake cleaner in there, Pete. Uh, here. Yeah. Then we're going to do a bit of a test run. It's also oh, yeah. yep. a good idea just to put a little bit of that Hang up. Yep. nether seas. Oh, yeah, on where it touches the yep. clip. Where it touches there, you can see where it's been touching. Oh, yeah. On there, this clip. Just light smear. All right. And pin. Okay. So this goes back in. Yep. So right. just putting it back together just to get a bit of lube into those holes. Yeah. And just make sure it moves freely. There we go. There we go. And push it in and make sure your seals are gone over this little lip. Yeah, I'm just yeah, you're going to be hard to focus on that. I'll just clean that up. So on this pin, you got a little lip, and the seal flips over it. I'll take it apart again and show you. You can see how it's hanging on to that hang lip. On, hang on. Yep. Hang on. A little focus. Focus. Oh, hang on. Look, it's come out. Hang on. Stay. Stay with me. You're going, yep. Yeah, so the pin's got a little lip Oh, here. yeah, yeah, yep. yep. Right now, that seal should go over it. Like oh, that. yeah, yep. So you make sure you push it all the way. Yep. And to test that, you retain it and see how it's oh, hanging on. yeah, it's still got, it's grabbed it, yep. yep. Okay. So that makes that a sealed unit so right. that pin doesn't get water in it. Yep. Make That's sure it. it's the same on the other side. Yeah, hang on. Oh, yeah, you can see that? That's concertining like a... Yeah. Yeah, it's a great tip. All right. Yep. So you have to inspect them, make sure the seals are good. Oh, if they're yes. broken, you're going to get water in there. That means you're going to get yep. uh, seizing, and you're seizing your rear caliper so it's not floating. Yep. Um, and, yeah, you'll have the binding break. Yep. Yeah, that's all good. Yep. Now, yep. we're doing this, you know, not in a normal workshop procedure. They tend to flip into it a bit more, but we're just taking, um, making it a little bit easier for the layman to have the better understanding yeah, exactly, of yeah. what, what's involved. And yep, because I've never done this before, Hal, myself, so I'm learning a, a, a lot. Yep. So this will be good, yep. All right. Okay. So we'll just start opening up the, the rear pads now. And you can see, see the wear mark on the old ones. 
Okay, there's still a little bit of, hang on, where can, where can I see that? A little bit of meat there. Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, but you can see, see the difference there. Uh, now, the old pads have got the um, metal shims on the back. Yep. So we're going to take them off. We just need a little flat blade screwdriver. So we, how, how often do you need to replace these shims, or do they ever need to be replaced? Or um, only if they're completely damaged, but yeah, or corroded, or yeah, for some reason. Yeah. Yep. All right, they got a little clip on it. So it like oh, okay. Hang on, hang on. Let me zoom in. They got a little, oh, yeah, lip. little retaining clip on them. So you got to lift them up. What looks of it? Oh, okay. Yep. A lot of people don't even use them. Though. Some people throw them away, but right. I believe it's there. It's there. You do it. Yeah. Yep. Um, Okay, so that's a little retainer clip. Also got a backing plate as well, which is like a, oh, a okay. soft, like a Bakelite, but more of a plastic type plate. Okay, so we're just going to clean, clean these backing plates up. And just looking at the pads, there's no left or right pad. They're exactly the same, so you can't muck it up as far as the rear brakes go. So, and we're just hoping that these shims will fit these sort of non-standard uh, brakes for Rodo. That's what we ended up with. Yep. All right. So, so again, Hal's putting some of that buddy. Never sees. Never sees on the back. Yep. Contact points. That's where the pins go through. Yep. We know just a little bit on that. Making sure you don't get it on the pad surface. Yep. Doesn't need much. Yep. Alright, then that one on there. Yep. And then that uh, metal retaining plate. Plate, yeah, hopefully that'll clip in. Yeah. No, oh, yep. What do you think? Yep. Yeah. It sounded positive. It did, didn't it? Yep. I don't think they get much better than that. And uh, just in case there's any goop on those pads, a bit of brake cleaner. Um, Hal's working on the other one. I'll just give you a close up. And you'll see that retaining clip there and that little Bakelite bloody shim as well. Might need to get going a little bit more on that end. Yeah, that one's all nice and flush, so this end can come in a little bit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just push it in with my thumb. It's all neat, flat, clipped in. Where the contact points were. Yep. So just put in a little bit on that. That had a... So just... When you finish, just show those clips that we just had to fiddle with a little bit. Oh, yeah, we've got to make sure they clip right in that end Hang on. on these shims. Yeah, just there. Make sure those clips are just hanging over the edge there. Could be a little bit further down you than what it is, but yeah. You should not see any air gaps. Yeah, on those. Yeah, in between these. Yep. yep. So, it's all yeah. flat. So, I'm just going to clean these. Disc pad retaining pins. Yep. So I'll clean those, put a bit of um, the anti seize yep. on those. And you're not just cleaning it, you're, you're Inspect inspecting and making sure they're smooth, there's no burrs or anything to catch on a pad so it causes any problems. Yep. Some people give that a light sand with wet and dry if it's got any indentations. People replace it. Some Disc pads with calm and a factor isn't that you, you 
you get the pads, but you get new pins at the same time. Yep. That's all good. Yep. Ready. Okay, we're about to put the pads back in. It's a little bit tricky. Main tricky area is making sure you'll see that clip where it's sitting on the top of that clip up here. Um, at the back, at the back here. Up here, inside there. Uh, hang on. Uh, oh yeah, hang on. I'll just get the camera in there. Hope right, we can see that. Yep. That's, and then that's a spring it. clip. We've got to push, push it up. Yep. So the pin's going to come through nice and freely. Yep. And I'll put the other second pin in. So then you've got the pins in there. Shoe fly. Yep. So we've got to push. I'm going to push, push the bottom of here. So that pin goes oh, through. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. yep okay. Yep, you'll see that. Yep. Then we'll grab the other so both, disc pad. Both. Yep. Oh, yep. So that's in. Hang on. Now I'm going to be yep. pushing. Pin located. Pin located. Just do a couple of turns. Bob's your uncle here. Right, that little way went in really well. So they're not going to fall out now, they're retained. No, no, no. Yep. Just to make it easy to put the wheel in with the rotor, make sure that the pads are in nice and straight. So we're not using much pressure. Yep. Just, just making so sure. The same gap all the yeah. way along. Yeah, yep. exactly. Yep, that's pretty good. All right. Yep. Slide that back onto the swing arm yep. locator. Centralise it so yeah. one's up there. Yep. That's it. Alrighty, so we'll go ahead, we'll go and put the uh, rear wheel back in and we'll bring you back. Okay, so the back wheel's in. Oh, hang on, I'll just zoom in on that. There's the new pads right there, plenty of meat on those. Try and get focused. So that's all done now, we've just got to bleed the brakes. Uh, we won't have any brake, you'll see the brake pedal, I'm going to pump the brake. Oh yeah, hang on, yep. Alright, and if you want to go to the back pedal, you'll see the pads coming in. Oh, hang, on, hang, come on. In. hang on, hang on. Alright, I've got a brake pedal. Yep. You want to just freewheel that wheel for us? Yep. Oh, it just needs to come up a sniff, maybe. Yeah. Cool. It's on. Yeah it's, yeah, it's got it now. Yep. It's on. It's on. Yep. Yep. Okay. Just need to tighten up these retaining pins. Yep. yep. And as you go, you always tend to spin the wheel, make sure that each process you do, you haven't caused any binding or anything. Yep. That's working a treat. Yep. Okay, now we need to um, bleed the old brake fluid out. Yep. Okay, so we've already put the 8mm socket on and now Hal's just pushing uh, the connector onto the nipple there. Okay. And then hang on, I'll just come around here. So I was going to start putting a, doing some it. vacuum in there. And mm -hmm. suction and then Hal's going to loosen off. Crack this open. Crack it, that open and then I'll just bring the camera over here. Open. Yep, and you can see the fluid. Yep, cool. I'm just closing it off over there. Yep. Alright. Don't too much yet. So we're just going to top it up again. Mm. All right. Well, we'll continue doing that, and that will be, you know, the bleeding of the brake uh, process. Just uh, keep, yep, just undoing the nipple there, sucking it out, and just topping it up. Okay. I'll bring you back once we finish that.
Uh, if you haven't got one of the uh, the brake vacuums, which yep. you know they certainly do help, um, you can go the old traditional way. Yep. Where you got one hand on the uh, the spanner, for yep. example. And the other hand on the brake yep. lever. Brake lever. Yep. Making sure your reservoir's got plenty of brake fluid in there. Yep. Give that a pump. Yep. Then crack that. Yep. Crack. At the same time, oh, holding oh. the brake foot brake lever down. Yep. Crack it. You feel that open. Yep. Hold mm -hmm. it down and keep it down. Lock nut it. Then pump it again. Hold it down. Crack it open. Shut it. Pump just, it again. Just repeat that process. Yeah. Okay. So you're happy with how much fluid you've got coming through the system. Yeah, yeah, we're going to um, put the cap back on, but yep. just lifting this up so we know we've got level yep. on the uh, and you can see the brake the fluid. Flip. You can yep. see it's sort of like the And fluid. it's just about underneath this lip here. Yep. Put that on. Yep. You won't get any spillages. Yep. And, and the cap can come back on. Cap can go back on. And then we'll replace the retainer that goes yeah. on the top. Yep. So yeah, just putting the retainer, the safety retainer, so that cap will not come off. Yep. Just putting that in. That little reservoir's got a little location pin. Yeah. So it sits in one place only. Yep. You just wiggle that so you feel that go in. And you get your clip. Grab your 10 mil. Done. That's it. That's not going anywhere. That's job done. Yep. So we just got to... That's all locked. Yep, that's locked. Take that off. That yeah, off. Get out of there. Yep. And then just a the dust cover goes back on the, the... And that's it. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, Hal. Well, look, thanks heaps for doing that. I certainly learnt a hell of a lot uh, myself. I really appreciate your help there. Now, Bob... Uh, no, <laughs> I was going to call you Bob. Hal, um, how often, in your, in your opinion, should you, um, you know, bleed the brakes? Well, manufacturing for the DR is once every two years, um, but I wouldn't, you know, it's such an easy job, yep. I'd do it on a yearly basis, or say 7,000 Ks max. Yep. Um, you know, it's cheap, it's quick, um, and it gives you peace of mind. You've got to remember that brake fluid is hyposcotic, so it uh, absorbs moisture, yep. and these days when you, if you have to get a roadworthy, um, most places will, uh, they've got a little probe, where they'll take a sample of your brake fluid and uh, they'll tell us if, if it's got a uh, moisture in it. Yep. And yeah, that means your system's got to be bled out. So uh, yeah, it's uh, an easy job. It takes you 10 minutes. You get your procedure right. Just make sure you, you know, any rags or anything, brake fluid will uh, destroy paint. Just be careful. Um, we didn't spill a drop, I don't think. No, we did no. well. Or so, you did well. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. yeah. Um, no that's the main cautions. Yep. All right. All righty. Look, thank, thank you, Hal. Thanks heaps, mate. Really appreciate it. Uh, no time. Yep. Not a problem. I think we'll be doing a few more of these videos in your garage. So yeah, I really yeah. appreciate it, and I hope everyone, uh, yeah, got something out of it. All right. Catch Thanks you later. Guys. Catch up. Okay, Hal. Good. Just uh, tell us, you know, your thoughts on bedding in these brakes. What? How? How would you go about it? Yeah. Well, it's pretty crucial. Um, because a lot of people put new brakes on and they go darting out and ride the way they normally do and maybe, maybe have an emergency brake and they the cook the brakes first in, first up. Yep. So what I do is I tend to just uh, ride along uh, probably about 20 k's, slowly apply the front and rear brakes, do that probably four or five times um, and then progressively get a little bit uh, uh, quicker and uh, warm up the brakes thoroughly and let them cool down and then do a couple of quick stops so over probably you know do it over I don't know probably four or five k's yep and uh, but the brakes themselves will bed in um, over a period of time over the coming weeks and you'll notice so uh, a big difference in the brakes over that period but yeah brand new brakes just don't run out there and get on the anchors. Uh, you've got to slowly, slowly yeah. bed them in. Yeah. Alrighty, thanks Hal. No worries. Catch up.